Well, it's your boy Jonas out here drinking the beer. I think it's barely on 11.30, maybe noon here. But I'm having a house sit for my sister. Man, because I haven't been able to watch my sister's dog. It's a German Shepherd. If you can see that right there. Going after a bug. I haven't had posted a video in a while. I haven't been working the last few weekends at work. This weekend, I'm not going to lie. My lead fucking pranked the shit out of me. Told me we got to work all day Saturday. Work all day Sunday. I was madder than shit. i tell you what. Fucking pissed off. I, I, I didn't get pissed. I like when he said we had to work. Because we cause we'll suck. It's like, okay, well, we may have to work Saturday. Because it all started with these fucking two pumps at the fucking sales phone. It's like, I got to have it done by the end of Monday. That's when they got to ship out. So... They didn't give us parts till a fucking Thursday afternoon. And even then, they were incomplete. So we really didn't start working on them till yesterday. And I'm sitting here like, I don't want to fucking work a goddamn Saturday. So all the parts did come up in yesterday. And the lead was sitting there like, you know what? If we get these two, the lead's like, you know what? We don't have to come in if we get these two pumps built done today. Which, the other two guys, they wanted to come in. I didn't. But they came in and did some other stuff today. But I was just like, oh, I'm going to drive the fuck out of them. We're going to get this shit done. So, like I said, we had to work 12 hours yesterday just to, to do it. So, worked 12 hours, busted ass, got those two pumps done. Like, when I was finishing up, all I had was like, all right, you just got slap covers on. Everything else, that's it. It's ready for testing. Well, he's like, oh, you damn did a good job. All right, yeah, we don't have to come into work tomorrow. And then it's like five minutes later, he's looking at his phone. I don't know why I believe this motherfucker. <laughs> but he's like, ah, oh, shit. He's like, well, looks like you got to work tomorrow, Sean. I'm like, why? It's like, apparently Randy wants us to come in and tear down three fucking pumps. And I was like, God fucking damn it. So I was a little grumpy. Because it was like, ah, I avoided working Saturday. And then all of a sudden, it's like slap, like, no, bitch, you got to work. So I was a little grumpy. It didn't piss me off until, and I was like, fuck, fuck. I was just doing, like, God damn, I don't want to do this bullshit. Work. This be the third fucking weekend I worked in the fuck, third fucking Saturday of this month. I fucking had to work. It gets tired. Like, the first, like, one Saturday, not bad. Two Saturdays, eh, it, it's kind of okay. Three Saturdays, it's like, okay, if it's three Saturdays in a row, it's like, I'm fucking pissed. All right, I want to go out. I got to get out the fuck out of town. I got to do this. got to get drunk. I'm like, I'm going to fucking be able to de-stress and shit. So, I was already grumpy. And then I'm driving on. He decides to do a whole text. He was like, all right, everyone, expect to work Sunday. We got trucks coming in. There's no service text. I fucking got pissed off. Started cussing, going, Aah! down the highway. Fucking kicked, got in, opened the door, told my mom, oh, you're going to have to fucking take out the animals this weekend. It's fucking bullshit. Oh, bitch, ass pass out in the front office. <laughs> And I was like, okay, okay, whatever, whatever. I'll take care of it as long as you're there at night. Whatever. Gotcha. Because like I said, I promised my sister I'd watch the animals, house sit, do all this other stuff. So I was like this. I was fucking pissed. And they got to the point. I sat down. I was packing on my clothes. I was eating. The lead calls me. It's like, okay, tomorrow you don't have a problem going out to the field, do you? Because we need someone to go with the tech. <laughs> I wanted to fucking like, mm, I don't fucking, but it was one of those things like, I don't want to get fired because I'm fucking throwing it, fuck, got fucking pissed off. And it's not the lead's fault anyway. I was like, it's not his fault. He's just a fucking messenger boy. So I was like, okay. And that's when he's like, no, it's not okay because you don't have to fuck come in tomorrow. And I was like, are you fucking serious? That's when he started laughing. He's like, dude, I was fucking with you the entire time. So, like, motherfucker, I got fucking pissed off. I'm kicking shit over here and cussing and fucking everything. He's like, I know. I wanted you to do that in front of me so I can watch. I was like, I ain't gonna do that for you because I don't know when you're being serious or you're joking. But anyhow, I actually got a weekend off, so I was able to post the video. Right now, what I'm trying to do is try to fucking 
get this charcoal fucking lighted up. For some reason, my fucking dumbass father doesn't know the fucking science behind charcoal. Decides, I'm going to dump a whole bag of charcoal to cook one fucking steak. So, next person who gets to use the fucking grill has a fucking shitload, like a little part where the charcoal burned down and a fucking shitload of charcoal around where it's like, well, now I can't put my shit in here. I mean, and it was bad. It's like, I went, because it's like my brother had on his grill, he got like a little smoking pit. So, I was like, fuck, I'm going to get me some mesquite logs. And I'll get a small bag of charcoal. I'll use the charcoal as the coals. And when I'm about to smoke it, just throwing logs in, drinking beer, listening to music. That was the plan. So I went over to the store, bought me a small bag, cost me about seven bucks of charcoal. I get here, I open that motherfucker up to clean it, get ready, and I just see all that fucking mess. And I fucking, I'm just like, that dumbass, that dumbass retard, that fucking dumbass. That's my father for you. He doesn't know how to fucking do shit. He's fucking ignorant when he's not, he's not, he's fucking stupid when it comes to science, because I know he ain't no damn ignorant. He likes science, but he doesn't know how to fucking use that shit. So. And of course, there's him. He likes, I'm going to dump a whole bag of charcoal. And then I'm going to fucking do, you know, what you might call it? A, uh, oh, charcoal lighter. Just that fucking bottle. That's how you fucking cook. No, fucking boomer. That's not how you fucking cook. You're a dumbass. Motherfucker thinks he knows how to cook. Don't know how to fucking do shit with a grill. Because also, same time, he wants to do that. He wants his fucking steak rubber. That's why it's not well done. It's rubber. It's fucking leather. It's like, motherfucker, I'm going to get you. You want a piece of my boot? Here's my fucking boot. Chew on that. That's what you want to fucking eat. Just eat my fucking boot. Ruining perfectly good cuts of meat. I tell you, that's what that's the fucking, that's the fucking issue. I don't know how to fucking cook shit. Ruins everything. No wonder my mother divorced his ass. <laughs> Motherfucker don't know how to do shit. Useless. But anyhow, I'm out here fixing the whole guy's there. So I'm like, well, I got shit low fuel. Might as well fucking burn it up. So. Oh. All right. Come on, inside. No. Come on. Inside. All right, sorry about that little pause. Dog out here licking out a puddle, so I opened the door to the dog in. Dog's like, I don't want to go in. What the water's in there, damn it. But anyhow, as I was saying, probably need to put a water bowl out here because it's not filthy. Anyhow, okay, back to where the fucking point is. I got fucking confused. I got damn mess, son of a bitch. But anyhow, like I said, that motherfucker don't know how to use a goddamn grill. I fucking got distracted. I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about anymore. God damn, that best pissed me off again. But yeah, anyhow. Oh, I remember. So I'm out here trying to fix up this whole goddamn mess, all right? And uh, I don't use charcoal light fluid. I mean, there's a bottle out here, but it's fucking empty because guess what? Dumbass doesn't know how to pick up after himself. Can't throw away the shit. Fucking lazy ass fucking boomer. That's what he is. Fucking useless. So anyhow, I learned a technique. I got it from one of the vatos down in Abilene. You get a bottle of fucking, like, just oil, I, I, to me, I use cheap oil, like basically, you know, vegetable oil. It's pretty fucking cheap. Get yourself a couple paper towels, kind of put it in your little pile and whatnot, put some stuff on top of it, and just run over it with the oil, soak it up, then light it, and it's basically a fucking candle, and it'll sit there, and like your wood or charcoal or anything, it'll sit there and it'll start a lap flame and lapping it up like a candle, heat it up, and it'll eventually turn the coals, which will turn everything else getting going on the fire. Is it a lengthy process? Kind of, maybe, but fuck. If you want good food, it ain't gonna be fucking fast. You gotta put fucking time in it, and you're gonna have to work, because that's how you know it's good. So... I was worried here for a minute. I was like, God damn, I don't think I did it right. But now it's going. I mean, I see a lot of smoke, so I got my coals going. I'm letting all this fucking shit burn down before I throw my fucking wood in there and my steak. Which luckily, I'm not that hungry right now. Now, because I got me like three, I got three ribeyes. 
I'm probably going to cook all three because I'm experimenting. Because like I said, I'm going to smoke them. I'm not going to have them nowhere near the fire because it's in its own. Like you see, this is this is the smoking pit right here. And then this is where the goddamn fucking steak's going to be. So I'm just going to rely solely on the smoke here in order to cook on it. Have I ever done this before? No. But am I going to try it? Well, hell yeah, I'm going to try it. So that's why I got my three. I'm going to experiment. Plus, I'm also using some different types of spices and whatnot on each one and see how the flavor comes out. And, you know, I mean, it's like, I make, I make my sense. It's like, well, I'm just cooking for myself. I'm going to eat it irregardless of what it is because it's like I bought it. I'm going to fucking eat it. I don't care if it tastes bad. It tastes good. I paid for it. I'm eating it. That's because I'm a cheapskate. But, like I said, since it's me, I don't really have to worry about anybody else. I can afford a fuck up or two. So this is what we call experimental cooking. <sighs> so yeah, I'm just waiting for this to kind of get going. And then once that gets going, I'm going to start smoking me some meats. And I'm going to be eating the meat. But yeah, I thought I'd just let everyone know that I'm still alive, doing well, and whatnot. So that was my short rant of this fucking week. And like I said, I'm fucking day drinking because i'm gonna blow me some fucking steam and next weekend i don't know what i'm gonna do it's vato adam's birthday so i hope it do something because i'm gonna go chill with them because i'm gonna use him as an excuse like hey i can't fucking work this weekend fuck you fuckers <laughs> but yeah a little pent up energy a little bit more cussing than what i normally do so just want to say this is your boy jonas out here in west texas Saying everybody have a good weekend. I'll see you next time.